Hello Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May. So the first tarot card that I have for you is the Queen of Cups tarot card. And the Queen of Cups tarot card is in the position of whether love is coming towards you. So I feel like you're open and receptive towards receiving love. A lot of you are allowing yourselves to be vulnerable and allowing yourself to open up. We then have the King of Pentacles tarot card here. And the King of Pentacles is suggesting that some of you are potentially getting a love offer from an individual. They could be an earth sign, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn individual. The next tarot card that I have for you is whether your new lover is going to be your soulmate. We have the Knight of Pentacles tarot card with the Ten of Cups tarot card. And that is suggesting that this person is going to be approaching you very slowly. However, they do have an intention of offering you something solid. And the Knight of Pentacles is with the Ten of Cups, which is suggesting that they are going to fulfill you emotionally. They are going to be making your dreams come true. In the next tarot card position, we have, will the relationship have happiness? We have the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is telling me that you are going to be in the state of mind in which you're going to be maintaining your independence. You could be having a lot of... Um, you know, energy that is resol uh, revolving around, uh, you know, being very uh, suspicious or um, suspecting this other individual of, you know, not wanting to offer you what you desire in the relationship. So you could be uh, approaching the situation from a manner in which you are still carrying a baggage from the past. The Queen of Pentacles tarot card is indicating that you are going to be um, shifting your approach from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles. So you are going to become more solid, stable. You're also going to be uh, opening up yourself to be more nurturing, more caring, you know, someone that is uh, more of an individual that comforts another individual versus uh, an individual that criticizes another person that's approaching you. Will there be commitment? We have the Nine of Wands tarot card with the Page of Cups tarot card indicating that, yes, commitment is possible if you allow your defenses to be down, if you let down your walls or your, your guard, for instance, and if you stop allowing yourself to be so suspicious of this individual, you do have the possibility of having a love sort of situation or a connection with this person. You are going to be in a situation which someone is going to be offering you commitment or they could be sending you a message for instance in the next position we have is marriage a possibility we have the seven of cups with the devil tarot card so this is telling me that if you are focused and you are committed then love and marriage is going to be a possibility but we have the devil tarot card so i feel like you're dealing with a situation that could be overly negative or you could be looking at marriage in a you know different or difficult point of view so you're not so receptive towards uh, having this uh, solid commitment from this individual you could be also dealing with a past uh, lover or someone that is still uh, you know lurking around in the background some of you guys could have a lot of 
options, you could have a lot of choices, and you could be entertaining one that could be from a Capricorn individual or from someone that is not having your best interests at heart. So there's a possibility that you have two individuals here, and one is offering you something solid and stable, whereas the other one is not offering you, uh, you know, something that is in your best interest. Will the relationship last? We have the Hierophant Tarot card with the King of Wands. So this is suggesting to me that you do have commitment coming in, and it could be from a fire sign, it could be from an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo individual, and your uh, relationship with this person is something that has the possibility of lasting. You do have the possibility that you are going to marry this individual. So I feel like you're dealing with choices here because we have the Seven of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands tarot card here. Finally, what can be done for you to find love? We have the Six of Wands with the Nine of Swords. So you have to shift your mindset from doubts, fears, if you have any sort of lingering emotions that is from a past relationship, you need to let them go. You need to allow yourself to enjoy the moment and to, you know, exist in a state of mind that is in harmony with having a relationship that is going to be successful and victorious. So for some of you guys, I do see that love is a possibility for you guys and Overall, commitment is going to be the best sort of situation for you with a king of wands type of individual, someone that is ambitious, fiery natured, someone that is, you know, a go-getter, someone that wants uh, what they want in a relationship and they're willing to go out and get it and they're very action-orientated type of person. So overall, it is looking positive. You just need to let go of your fears, your doubts, your worries, whatever is keeping you up at night, whatever is causing you to have concerns and, you know, uh, fears, then you need to let them go and you need to celebrate the moment and enjoy all the positive things that are coming towards you. So I hope that you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to like this video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.